Tonight's episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a quick look at my Martindale two pole voltage testers. These are the VT12. These are an entrance level, level, so go a bit easy on them. They are a bit pikey. And I've got to admit, I bought these off Amazon and they are a proper diamond in the rough and I absolutely love them. And they're tiny as well. What we do is we get into the video, so we roll the beats. Good evening fellow dreamscapers, Will from Will's Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In tonight's episode, what I want to do is I want to show you something that is, you know when you buy something online, like uh, I bought these from Amazon and I thought, how shit are these going to be? But they actually turned out to be really good. <laughs> and they're actually one of my favourites, to be fair. Yeah. To, I've done it again. I forgot to mention it, but if you could show your support and if you could like, subscribe, and flick my bean, you helps the channel grow. Thanks a lot, let's get back on with the videos. And these are the two pole voltage tester, the VT12 by Martindale Electrics. And I bought these, I had, uh, at the time when I bought them, we had Ebsy, like Tom Ebs, who works for us. He's now a full-time apprentice and all that. And uh, when he was first working with us, he was doing a work experience. And every, every time someone starts, I always buy him a set of these, a plug-in tester and a wand as well. And I like to change the different brands and all that, just so I can have a little look. And I actually bought these for him, for, and I think they're about 32 quid off Amazon. And I actually bought, I actually kept these sets because I, I was so impressed by them and like uh, where's, when I do this review one thing you've got to bear in mind is that these are 30 I think I paid 30 quid for them 30 34 quid for them and they are the probably the entrance level you know what I mean and they they are actually the first time I've ever bought like the Martindale uh, voltage testers I've got one of those I've had a few of the uh, plug-in the original plug-in testers and all that and I thought I'd give them a try because uh, Ollie had like the dialogue ones which Ebsy's got now is just that I didn't want them to get them mixed up and all that but I'll, I'll give you a quick tour of these one of the main things I like about this is that we was working in the summer and we was, it, was, it was bright as anything, and we was using these voltage testers on the light fitting, and we just could not see, because it was so bright. We just couldn't see, because obviously neither of these have got a digital display. I'm more than aware that you can use a digital display, but obviously remember the value of these, because these are cheap as chips, and honestly, they're a proper diamond in the rough, is that they've actually got this smoke screen there, and they've got the LED stuff, uh, like the, it illuminates, it's got like LED lights in there. What, uh, what I'll do is, I'll give you a, little, a quick little look when I do it on the proving unit. And another thing is, is what I like about them is that they apply to GS38 because obviously, like as I've probably mentioned to you before, I've done an actual, uh, I've done a post on uh, Instagram and like saying that these are actual uh, voltage testers, which they are, but they're really known as a multimeter. And GS38 say that you shouldn't use them, even though I still do use them. You know what I mean? Don't be, you know, don't think I don't, but I do. But that's a good example of how big they are. Look, you can see how small they are. What, the reason I like them so small is that I'm cursed by this bag, and I will do a tour over Christmas and all that. And that is the TPXL. That you know, that's probably the only time you'll ever see that standing up that piece of shit falls over it you've only got to look at it probably by the end of the video it'll probably run around this whole unit it does me absolute tits in more than these airplanes do above me but yeah one of the big good things about these is the actual size of them they're absolutely blinded so they've got the pouch to keep the tops on so it stops you from stabbing yourself when you put them in the pockets what they have is that they have got covers on these so you can take these off to make the prongs a bit bigger because obviously they've got to be i think was it four mil maximum and all that and it's also you could put one of these in the holder part so obviously you can go on the main switch for uh, when you're proving proving dead and it's, it's rated up to uh, uh, 690 volts, which we always go up to. We always go up to 400 or 415, you know. So I'm happy with that. And the other good thing is the continuity part, and I absolutely love continuity testers. And God knows how we, where we would be in our trade if we didn't have continuity testers. That has got to be probably the biggest game changer tool that we actually have, you know, because where would we be without them? You know what I mean? For testing fuses, testing switch line, finding cables, you know, for seeing if you know just crudely seeing if switches are switches are earthed or lights are earthed, you know, between the, you know, the different things. And 
But one of the nice things about this is how small and how light it is. And I tell you, I don't know whether it's because it's for how cheap it is, but it is what I mean by that is is I don't really respect it as much as the others because we, you know, I've I've bought I've bought, like as I say I buy from for people as they start for us plus and all our free tests as we have different ones. And ever since that that point come up, I've got I've gone on a bit of a spurt and bought quite a few of them because I do like them and I do like to change them. I'm testing like every every day, so. You know, it's nice to have a little look about and see what I prefer. And another good thing is, is I'll, I'll quickly put this on the proving unit so you can see the light and all that. And it, it's absolutely lovely. But can you see that? Probably see me old bold, bold head, you know what I mean? But yeah, look, that's absolutely pucker and it's loud. And what I'll do is, is like, as I said, obviously these are normally screwed up, but I've taken it off so I don't bore the life out of you with doing it. But yeah, the battery's going to the bottom. It's got a nice little grommet there. And uh, what I like about it is that the light still comes on there. So, you know, they do comply to BS38 and they're so handy. They're so small, they fit in your pocket. The leads are the normal size. I'd probably say that that's probably a meter lead, which like looks like it's probably standard. Do you know what I mean? And it's absolutely blinding. As I say, I will attach GS38, so if any of you are bored enough to look at it, and plus and all, I've uh, done a review of all the handouts and all that, which I think is absolutely priceless. It's free, it's free to have a look at, and it's good, you know, just to even have it on your laptop, but yeah, absolute blinding bit of kit that is. And for 30 quid off Amazon, or you know, you could probably get it for a little bit less than anywhere else. Disadvantage, you haven't got the digital display, but you know, do you really need that? Does the digital display really do anything or mean anything? But in a bright light, because that's got a smoke screen, that is absolutely paid off for us. You know what I mean? Right, that's it for another episode. I hope you got something out of it, and I hope you like it. And if you're gonna be anything this week, then be electric. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again.